Okay, everyone, welcome back to the end game of Heavy Rain in Retro Replay here on DSP Throwback. We just got the big reveal of who the Origami Killer actually is in the plot, although we are a little skeptical about that because it doesn't really explain the Manfred scene. It's kind of a cop-out the way that they wrote that scene so that you wouldn't suspect the killer early on. Um, also, just so you guys know, there is still a plot hole in the game that is not explained, and we're going to see if they address it by the end, and then I'm going to tell you about that plot hole and what's going on with it um, and why it's in the game, okay? All right, but in the meantime, let's continue. Here we go. There's actually a reason for the plot hole that I'm talking about. That's kind of a, a lame... Uh... A lame explanation because that really didn't happen in the game. That exactly. Just happens at the ending. That's right. What's this? All the Origami Magazine subscribers? Toss all the evidence. Oh no. That's the book he took from Paco. Yep, Paco's book. Little black all book. All his information. Yep, all his clientele. So now, no evidence of him ever dealing with Paco. See, I told you it was him. It looked just like him. All right, finally the picture, the last piece. He's burning everything. It's almost like he knows he's gonna die or something. He wants to die. He lived this fucking long. What the hell? Oh, there's him seeing his mom. Wouldn't the fire alarms all be going off? I mean, he's in like a, an apartment building or an office building. There's definitely be fire alarms going off if there's smoke coming out of this can. So dramatic. Slim D says, well, at least he did visit his mom. Well, we know he did because he left the origami book and he left the origami crane. So we knew that he was there. It's just that she has Alzheimer's and can't remember that he visits. And now this vintage copy of the first, uh, the first book of the X-Men comic book. <laughs> I don't need that anymore either. He burns that. It's yes. only worth <laughs> that thing is expensive. The original X Men comic book is worth like thousands upon thousands of dollars if you still have it today. He said, like, "I don't need this. Toss that in there." Several bajillion dollars. Oh look, it's one of the original gold cartridges of the Nintendo World Championships for the NES. Don't need that. <laughs> oh. So how does she fit into all this? No, he didn't kill his she mom. His mom short. has Alzheimer's, so she can't remember anything. She can't remember that he ever visited her. He has no reason to kill her. Up and got involved. And how does she know Shelby? She doesn't know him. So how, if she got told the last name by the mother, how's she going to figure out what to do? What's this? The missing thumb drive that has $5 billion of lost Bitcoin on it, and it can only be unlocked with a password that I know? Oh, I don't need that. Burn that sucker. You've earned a trophy, nerd. What the fuck? Why'd you call me a nerd? Yeah, I got a trophy. This is a nerd. trophy, but I don't get it. What did, what did I get a nerd thing for? <laughs> Friday, 636. Oh, she showed up. She must have found his name somewhere. Oh, shit. Fuck it, don't knock. Call me a nerd. I'm very upset. So she's here because the mother said his name is Scott, Scott Shelby, or Scotty Shelby. So she looked it up. And found in town the Scott Shelby, and now she knows where to investigate. Oh my! Thank you very much, Brandon. He says good luck tonight with the stream of Heavy Rain. Thanks, Brandon. God, it's another Jill Valentine. Yeah, the, the master, master of unlocking. Here we go. <laughs> oh, bitw awesome looked it up. He says when you find out the killer playing is Jaden, you get the nerd trophy. Oh, okay. Oh, fucking bullshit! I didn't know I had to turn the controller. That's stupid. <laughs> More motion control nonsense. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm doing that. What the fuck? Do it. Well, game over. She can't break in. Oh, the game can't up progress. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Fort Sean is right, dead. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. I'll turn the controller. I got it. Up, up, down, 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 left, right, left, right. B, A, select, start. Hope you got a gun. Oh, shit. Why are they showing this now? Don't tell me she's going to get gang banged by five more bandits in fucking masks. What the fuck? Uh, no. Hopefully not. The origami killer's apartment. Yeah, it was kind of a giveaway because through the whole game. Where's the floating egg? It's gone. Through the whole entire game, you never, uh. He never ran into anyone else. That's the thing. If he had, like, interacted with other people, but he didn't, he only interacted with Lauren. That was it.
How how okay. disgusting is that? So he's the origami killer, and he romantically kissed Lauren, the mother of one of the kids he murdered. That's fucking fucked up, man. Like that's dark, dirty shit right there. Ugh. <clears throat> Let's see what was in there. <laughs> oh, she found his picture when he was on the he force. Used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. Yep. That is correct, Amente. That wait a minute. Raven says that was comic common back in the day. It was common for serial killers to seduce the mothers of the children they murdered and romantically kiss them at train stations. This was a recurring occurrence in real life? Not so sure about that one, Raven. I... <laughs> Ew, dingy Hanes shirts. Just wait till you get your Hanes on him. <laughs> Don't even think about it, it's gross. Oh my God. <laughs> Just wait till you get your Hanes on Scott Shelby. There is a secret room back here. Oh shit. What were the chances she would find that? What? What happened? Why'd she close I it? I thought there was a secret room. It sounded hollow to me, but I guess not. Yeah, okay. it sounded like a secret room, but it didn't work. It's pretty fucking stupid. Hey, look, we're in his bathroom. Awesome. Look, he installed an extra wide toilet. I wonder no, why. Here. Hey, wait a minute. There's this inhaler. Isn't that a clue? Look, it's a double, a double no, strength no, hydraulic he, flusher. He, he, he steal his fucking inhaler, then he won't be able to breathe later. <laughs> Mark asks, is this one is this my most well-known playthrough? I would argue at this time, this was the playthrough that got me some of the most notoriety on YouTube. Up to this time, people found me for like one-off videos, like my finale video of Spider-Man Web of Shadows, or maybe some of my gameplay of Street Fighter 4. But this was the playthrough that a lot of people referenced in other places. A lot of actual content creators said they watched this playthrough and got like inspired to do stuff because of it, because it got so popular. Keep in mind, this is 2010, and each video is getting 100,000 views or more. And then people are referencing it, people are talking about it. It's huge for this time period, you know? Today, it's an easy occurrence for a top YouTuber to get a million views on any gameplay video they do. That back then, back then this was very uncommon to have this kind of attention on a playthrough. Car and Motor Magazine, he knows what a car is, that's a clue. Nothing out there? Nope. Wait, oh shit, go back, there's something there. What's that? Guinness Book of World Records and a fucking Gideon Bible. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Who knew there were actually Gideons? I thought they just put Bibles in uh, hotels. A cop's uniform. Always dressed a cop. You already know he's a cop. What That's the fuck? why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Ah, wow. that makes sense. It's fucked She's still up. searching for hollow areas. I guess that's hollow. Okay. Ah. Couldn't tell the difference from the last one, but oh shit. What the hell is this? A real oh, secret him, room. Kid. He's got a secret fucking criminal lair. Yep. A super villain orchid fucking growing lair. Look at this. Most people would grow pot, but I just grow orchids. He cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victim. Why? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. I like to grow things that have no monetary or useful value. <laughs> Sean Mars. The lunatic's been watching him drown. Wow. Oh, shit. It's some kind of a well filling up with rain. Slowly drowning him. <laughs> There's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. All right, well, I'm obviously going to find a clue to say where it is. We're all going to show up. <gasps> Shit, it needs a password. Uh, Orchid, John, Origami. Let's try Orchid. I went John. Oh, incorrect not password. John. What the fuck? Orchid. He always wanted a dog named Max. Yeah, he always said Max, Max, Max. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. 
the name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. There we go. Oh, I got that clue out of the mother. All right. Five parts left. This is really the final push, everybody. What the hell is what? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Look at that. Yep. Hurry. There's no time to lose. How convenient. Is that what I picked? Roosevelt Road? I think it was. How convenient at the moment that she opens up the laptop with the password max, it has the address flashing on the screen in front of her. That really saved some time, didn't it? <laughs> By the docks. Look. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, and it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. It's the antique typewriter. And there's the origami. Do we need any more possible evidence? A rat. We're gonna be rat. This room. Yeah. Uh oh. oh fuck. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. Well, I gotta get the fuck out of here somehow. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Don't be a weak. You know, I'm still not convinced that Scott Shelby's the killer. There may be a twist coming. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Oh, good. The screen locked. Yeah, it froze for a second. That's scary. That's not gonna work. Doesn't it? Wait a minute. Doesn't it look like it locks from the inside? So how could he have locked it from the outside? There was no locking mechanism on the outside at all. I don't know. Oh, shit. Here we go. Any ways out here? She's good at finding hollow walls, huh? What's this? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Let's do this to it. Ah! Oh. How about this? Ah! Oh. All right, none of this is working. So let's try this. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah! Nope. Ah, yeah! oh, look. Did that work? Yeah! It's yep. working. Ah! She found a hole in the wall. <laughs> Just guessed it started wildly going God for the damn. walls. Gotta hire her for fucking deconstruction when I renovate my condo. <laughs> deconstruction. She's and she'll do it all with a fucking CB radio. <laughs> Demolition. <laughs> no tools required. Just your bad luck. I was taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Imagine that. She busts through the wall and Shelby's just sitting there on the toilet like, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> That would have been fucking hilarious, actually. Anyway, I received a $25 tip. <laughs> it's another anonymous $25 tip. Wow, thank you so very much. Whoever is uh, doing these anonymous tips tonight, I really appreciate that. Or even worse, he's in the tub. He's in the tub and he's taking a bath with a little rubber ducky. <laughs> he's like, and then the rubber ducky goes quack, quack. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway. Thank you very much for the anonymous tip. We're now up to $78 in tips tonight and climbing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that would have been awesome if she crawled in there if he was on the fucking dome. I just said like, that. A bomb. Oh, fuck. Oh, look. You torched the place. How fucked up is this? Because he's probably not the only guy in the place. Right, and all the people could die, Number too, because he's doing this. Here we go. Really fucked up. L1. R2. And go! Oh! Yeah. Made it. Now what? Uh, now you die. <laughs> you jumped into a flaming room. Now you die. X. Push that shit. This push is pretty unrealistic. Go, 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 go. Like, she'd be overcome with heat and, and smoke and die wow, within like a minute. A oh, you idiot. What did you do? What happened? Fuck it. Don't jump. Gotta find something else. Whoa! Almost got clobbered. What else could you possibly find? Another fucking room. Great. 
Who's dying? The office. Gas tank. Why did she turn around? I didn't. Dude, I didn't fucking turn her around. She did that by herself. <laughs> yeah, well, she saw a fucking flaming room with gas in it. Her Ooh, propane tank. She said, I'm out of here. You're not stupid. X. R1. Tap, 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 tap. Oh my god, what? Alright, no one. You're gonna jump up to that like tiny fold, little folding table. Let's go! No one! I made it. Wow. What the shit? Well, she's in the kitchen, she's still okay. I said it's filling up with smoke. Look, the propane tank has a heat meter, look. Another window. Did she get out the window? Hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. The thing's gonna blow. Hurry up. Oh my god, she's so slow. Oh. Go, go. Oh, oh Jesus. Are you shitting me? This is not good. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry. I had to do a little bit of moderation. People trying to ruin the moment. I wanted to make sure that we're good. All right, we're good. Good, no problem here. And let us continue. Here we go. What the hell is she gonna do here? Good question. She's gonna get killed is what she's gonna do. There's another window right there. She jumps she to the window, oh my window. God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Did she make it? I you made she it. Did. She made it. Oh my God. Wow. Like a split second left. Boom. Boom. Backdraft. Well, she escaped. Wow. All right, do you want to know the dumbest thing? I'm not kidding you. There's an option. Get this. To go inside the refrigerator. What it is, I think they were referencing Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull where he survives a nuke by going inside of a refrigerator. She can go in the fridge and she actually survives the blast. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever, but that's an option. I'm serious. Holy shit, that was close. Looks like we're all gonna meet at the docks, all four main characters, for the final showdown. What happens if you jump? I think you die. I think if you jump, you actually break your neck and die. Because she can, if she messes up the quick time, she can die. If she makes the wrong choices, she can die. And I think the only two choices are to stay in the fridge or go out the window, that's it. Call Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. So by the way, this Jane is also Marty. a backup. So if Ethan failed the trials and didn't have enough information to go to the right place, since she knows it now, she could call Ethan and tell him and then he'll still show up for the finale. So there's kind of safeguards in place. If you screw one thing up, you can do a save and then do it another way. And this is one of the ways that's a backup. He knows. Confirm. Yeah, Jaden already knows the docks. Did she tell him or what? He didn't answer? Yeah. He's not dead yet. Alright, this is gonna be awesome, man. The final showdown. Alright, here we go. Let's get ready. Yeah, the true finale starts now. Get ready. All right, man. This is it. The beginning of the end game. The final confrontation. Yep. And I'm psyched, and this must be Sean. And I'm psyched because I want to see how all my decisions... You see, now the views spike because we're at the end. The views start spiking <laughs> on these final parts. Um, Good evening, Rolor. Good evening, Derek. How are you guys doing? They're just arriving late. And uh, 
Astronaut says, do you think a real-life fridge would protect you from a blast like that? Number one, I don't think you would even fit in a real-life fridge. Number two, if the whole apartment was on fire and exploded, does it matter if you're in a fridge, right? <laughs> a fridge is not impenetrable or impervious to anything. It's ridiculous, you know? Of course you're gonna get hurt. Decisions in the game have turned out. Looks like the only pe person who I really fucked over was Jaden because I made him take the drugs that one time when he was fighting Mad Dog or whatever the fuck his yeah, name Yeah, but that's was. bullshit. We didn't mean to. And uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't know he was gonna, you know. It's but... nonsense. It's not fair. And he accidentally killed Nathaniel, the uh, the Christ freak. <laughs> so, you know. Clever dad. Clever dad? I mean, that means Ethan got there of his own accord. He didn't have to get the help from... Uh, from Madison, he figured it out on right, the, the trials. Everyone's gonna show up at some point here. All four of our characters will show up. Well, Ethan showed up at the right place. He's got the poison in him, though, so he's gonna die. Right, he is poisoned. Unless it wasn't really poison, who knows? The poison's gonna kill me in a few minutes. I I've gotta find Sean fast. I hope it's not too late. Sean? Where's Sean? Sean's done for if I've got the address wrong. What the fuck? You won't, you won't go up the stairs. Oh, he's right here in his grate. This has to be him. This is where he was. I've been looking for a long, long time. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Looking for a father that would be able to do. What mine could not do. Drink Such seven gallons of alcohol and not die. <laughs> in order to save his son. Oh, that too. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then I remembered you. Remembered him from where? Oh, from the news story. When he tried to save his son, he couldn't. I'm sure it was a news story. He was there. Oh, he was right there the whole time. He watched the whole thing happen. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Me. I've suffered. Just as much as my Wow, what a fun thing to say. I finished your damn trials. Now Fuck. give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Unfortunately, I rigged it to explode. <laughs> He's gonna shoot. Yeah, look at this. Thing. Fucked up. He pulls out a gun anyway. Yes, Jaden showed up. Jaden to the shit. rescue. Jaden to the rescue. I just said that. <laughs> Come on, by the All right. power of This is uh, a good place, actually, because we're about to get into a giant action sequence. So this is a good place to split the part, because the next part will likely have the finale of the action of the game and everything. So let's do that now. Um, and then, after the game ends, we have the epilogue video that I filmed, and then on top of that, I'm going to tell you about this hidden plot hole. Well, not really hidden, but this plot hole... That I'll tell you how it gets explained because there's no way you would know it by playing the game. Anyway, good stuff. When I come back, likely it's the action-packed finale of Heavy Rain. I'll see you then.